Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today I'm gonna to be doing a tier list of all the C4 cans. That includes the original C4 yellow cans, all of the ultimate flavors, as well as the smart energies coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. As you can see, I am in a different background. This is because I'm not in the studio because I need to use my computer to get you this tier list. So you guys get to be in my office. And by, by office, I mean a desk that's in my living room. And hopefully the lighting cooperates because I am using some natural light from the window. But we are in a season where the sunlight goes away really, really fast. So we shall see how it goes. I have been getting requests for tier lists for a long time now. Uh, several years and I had actually done one on Bang Energy and that was actually a couple of years ago as well and uh, they do actually take a little bit of time a little bit of adjusting and stuff so so I never really had a chance to do all the companies but I am going to try starting to do more tier lists for you guys starting off with the C4 and there are some other companies that I want to do because some companies have so many drinks that I can't actually do a video where I rank them all therefore a tier list is a great way to show you all the drinks and whenever a new drink comes comes out, I can also put it on the tier list as opposed to just the caffeine man rating chart. So I do plan on doing one for G Fuel at some point. I do plan on doing one for Ghost and I'm pretty much any company that has like more than 10 drinks or so. I plan on trying to do a tier list and I'm trying to figure out, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you think that I should do a tier list from now on instead of putting up the caffeine man rating chart because a lot of people say they can't see the small print on the caffeine man rating chart. And as much as I personally love it because I came up with it on my own, some people like the tier list better, or maybe depending on how many of you actually vote, maybe I'll do both. I'll put it on the caffeine man rating chart and then put it on the tier list because those are two separate things. But let's go ahead and jump right into this tier list because there's a lot of drinks to go over. I am gonna make myself smaller, put myself into the corner, put the tier list up on the screen, and we shall start talking about this stuff right now. So first we're going to start off with all the yellow cans, then I'll move on to the ultimate and then I'll finish up with the smart energy. And the first one on the list is the Frozen Bombsicle. I really like the Frozen Bombsicle when it came out. I really thought that it was a really great red, white, and blue flavor or Rocket Pop flavor, whatever you want to call it. They went with Bombsicle and I really enjoyed it a lot. I wouldn't say it is my top tier, but I really think it's an amazing flavor. So that one is going right up there. So the next one up is going to be the Mango Lime. This one was a little bit hard for people to find because when it came out, it wasn't in all stores like everywhere. So a lot of people didn't want to buy it online. It was a limited edition run. And although it was a good flavor, uh, the mango and the lime was kind of an odd combination. No one's really ever done that before, but I still thought it was really good. And we're gonna put that one in the B tier. Next up after that is going to be the Twisted Limeade, and I gotta say, I am not a huge fan of citrus flavors in general, but they did an amazing job with this Twisted Limeade. If you guys are looking for a strong, solid lime flavor, I had to get the hands going. I mean, I, I'm part Italian, and I have my hands down here because I got one on the mouse, one on the keyboard, but I just say the Twisted Limeade, it's a really great, solid flavor. And even though I don't typically drink lime drinks, I really think this one was an amazing flavor as well. So I'm gonna put that in the A tier. And I know that the A doesn't stand for amazing, but a lot of people like to rename all the different things. I know S is for superior, superb, super. And then A through D is just like the scoring system when you're in school. Next up after that, we're gonna be taking a look at the Tropical Burst. Oh wait, Tropical Blast. It's hard to see, it's small on my screen. And I thought they did a good job with this tropical, but the thing is, there's a lot of competition for tropical out there. So when I say something's like really good, uh, it's not hitting that amazing category for me. Now I've just converted A over to amazing, but uh, it's still really good. So I'm going to put that in the B tier as well. Next up is Grape Frost. Now the Grape Frost, I thought, was a really great grape drink. So if you're someone who likes grape drinks, I gave it a really good score. It was like in the high eights, I believe almost hitting that like nine level because they did a great job with it. But this list is also taking part of my personal preference into play as well. Most things are gonna be falling into place similar to the Caffeine Man rating chart, but the Caffeine Man rating chart is based on flavor alone. So even though I thought that this was a great flavor, it's really not something that I would ever buy on my own. So I'm gonna put that down in C. Not because it's a bad flavor, it's a really good flavor, but it really doesn't compare to all the ones above it. And it'd be unfair to put it right next to Tropical Blast. 
when I would drink a Tropical Blast before any kind of a grape energy drink. Next up is going to be the Midnight Cherry, and man, when I first had that, I hadn't had a lot of cherry drinks before I started my channel. I only had a couple, and they all tasted kind of like generic cherry, so I wasn't really much of a cherry fan until I tried this Midnight Cherry. One of the top cherries I've had, uh, it was actually rated one of the highest cherries on the cherry list for me uh, until one or two other companies came out, but it is still top on the list, and that one is going all the way, now it's not going all the way up to there, but it's, it's close. It's a really good flavor. I'm putting that in the A tier. And speaking of good cherries, the next one up is going to be the Cherry Limeade. And once again, they did a great job with their cherry flavor. But not only did they do a good job with the cherry flavor, they did a great job with that Cherry Limeade. So between a good cherry and a good limeade, obviously the Cherry Limeade is going to be going right up here at the top there, which is kind of funny. I didn't really plan that out, but we got the Limeade, we got the Cherry, and then we got the Cherry Limeade. So, so that actually works out well. Next up, we got the Cotton Candy. Unfortunately, the Cotton Candy has been discontinued. Uh, a couple of these drinks have been discontinued. I'm not sure uh, all of them, but I do know that the Cotton Candy and the uh, Sour Bash Brothers have been discontinued, which is sad because the Cotton Candy was one of the best cotton candies I actually have it in the S tier when I did a list of the favorite cotton candy drinks C4 was one of my favorite cotton candy energy drinks it really was amazing and I'm guessing maybe just not enough people bought it because they didn't know how amazing it was they're like oh cotton candy that's kind of a weird flavor and I think it was discontinued before cotton candy got like really really popular that being said, uh, several companies have discontinued their cotton candies, so I'm guessing it's not as popular of a flavor. I think it's one of those unique flavors that people are like, oh, let me try this. Oh, this is pretty good, but it's not something that they would drink on a regular basis. So a lot of companies actually have been canceling their cotton candies. It's hard to find a good cotton candy now. Next up, we're going to be going to the Arctic Snow Cone. Typically, I'm not a fan of the Arctic flavors, but I have been liking them a bit more. And I think C4's Arctic Snow Cone was one of the first snow cones that I actually liked. It was actually a nice potent flavor. And they didn't go too acidic with it because it is a citrusy kind of flavor. But it gave you a nice solid sweetness with that citrus. And I thought it was a really good flavor. And for an Arctic white flavor, uh, I'm putting it in the B tier. And I'm not sure how many Arctics or whites I would put in the B tier. There's probably only one other company out there that I would probably put up in a higher tier than that. Next up is going to be the Orange Slice. And I got to tell you, if, if you watch my channel, I've talked about Orange Slice a few times. So, so those of you who know the channel know where this is going to be going. Unfortunately, it's going to be going in the D tier. And uh, I, I mean, I don't like to put anything down that low. But for me personally, I was not a fan of the Orange Slice. And there was just something off about the flavor for me. The thing is, it is one of the drinks that is in all the stores when I go to the convenience stores now. C4 has gotten a lot of their drinks in the convenience stores and this is one of them that is in convenience stores so just because i am not a fan of it doesn't mean it's not a good flavor because the drink is actually selling really well but for me wasn't hitting the mark it's going down into that d category and next up we got the starburst and let's just grab all four of these starbursts right here and just put all the four starbursts right up there you guys know it's true. There's no lying about it. But but they can't all be up there. Yes, I'm going a little overboard. We do have to move some of them down because I think that the orange and the lemon were extremely amazing. I thought that they were really, really, really great. Probably the best orange and the best lemons out there or close to the best orange and best lemons out there. But I don't think that they are absolutely super drinks. And I'm not sure if they're for everyone. So I'm putting those two down to the amazing category or the A tier. Because I do think they are really, 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 really good. And that Starburst is also, it was my least favorite of the four. But I think it's a good strawberry flavor in general. So it might not taste like the Starburst pink candy exactly. Whereas the other three do. But it's a really good flavor. And I'm going to drop that down to the B category. But that cherry, just going to move that over to the left there. That cherry is a really good cherry starburst. So it's just good cherry in general. It is actually the top of my cherry list. It beat out the midnight cherry. And now that I'm thinking about it, am I also supposed to be putting these in order of which ones I like more on the tier list? Uh, because 
I, I'm going to do that because I think that's how it's done. I haven't actually watched many people's tier lists, but there are certain higher ones or lower ones now that I'm recalling. I think I've watched Shock do a few of his videos, and he's been moving his drinks around on the list. So, so I'm actually going to move some of these over real, real quick. Don't make the video too much longer. Maybe I'll jump cut it. Who knows? But uh, Twisted is going to the side. Boom there. Uh, cherry Limeade is going to be moving next to that. Then Cherry. Then Lemon. Then there we go. See, that's close enough. I was close. And then what do I think about these ones in the B tier? I actually, those are the order that I would drink them. So that is working out well. Cotton Candy. Cherry Starburst. Yes, we are back on track. I will try to put them in the right spot as I continue on. And continuing on, we're going to be going down to that Sour Bash Brothers. Sour Bash Brothers was a really, really great flavor. It was out before Ghost Sour Patch Kids. And when it came out, I was like, wow, uh, C4 should collab with Sour Patch Kids because this tasted like the green lime Sour Patch Kids. But uh, I think they, I think it might have already been, Ghost might have already had the patent in the works. So, we, so they couldn't get it. So they named it Sour Batch Brothers. And uh, it's a really good flavor, and I honestly have no idea why it didn't make it in the line. But boom, when I move this up, it is going right up to that A tier. Because even though sweet and sour isn't really uh, my thing, I do appreciate a good sweet and sour energy drink. Moving down to the second line, which means we're just about halfway through. We got the strawberry, the watermelon strawberry ice. And similar to the orange slice, it is just not for me, but also similar to the orange slice. This is one that is in stores everywhere. So there are people that are liking it. I think both of these flavors are probably the lightest flavor that C4 has. They seem like they were a little bit too light for me. And when I have my orange drinks, I like the solid strong oranges, like that Starburst C4 orange. And when it comes to the watermelon and strawberries, I also like a solid strawberry or watermelon flavor. Next up is going to be the Mango Foxtrot. You guys know I like my mango drinks, right? And I thought that they had done a really good job with that. It's actually part of the Wounded Warrior Project as well. C4 donated $500,000. No matter how much profit they were going to make on this drink, if it was under $500,000, they still donated at least $500,000 to the Wounded Warrior Project. So this Mango Foxtrot was for a great cause, and it was a really good drink. I am actually going to put that one in the B tier because they did a good job with it. Next up, we got some Skittles. My goodness, when they did their candy collabs, they did their candy collabs right. They did a great job with Starburst. And from most of the people in my comments and most of the people that I talked to, a lot of people said that it did actually taste like Skittles. There are still a few people that don't think that it tasted exactly like Skittles, but I think everyone can agree that it is a good fruit flavored candy. And that is actually, that is going way up there. Is that above the C4 Cherry? You know, I think I gotta say, as much as that Skittles is a great flavor, I got an amazing score because it's superb. I think even though it's got the mix of flavors, the mix of fruit flavors and everything, I think there's a little bit too much in there for me. I don't like to do the whole handful of Skittles in my mouth at the same time. I am the type of person that eats one color at a time. Maybe mix two of them at the same time. But uh, all those flavors can be a little bit too much sometimes. So I am actually gonna go put the Starburst Cherry above that Skittles, but both really great flavors. And that is it for the yellow ones. Let's move on to those ultimates. Ultimate Freedom Ice. As great as a flavor as this is, uh, I thought it was gonna be just like the Frozen Bombsicle, but uh, it was a little bit different than the Bombsicle. So when I actually tried the Bombsicle and then tried the Freedom Ice, I was like, you know what? I like the Bombsicle just a touch better. So I am actually gonna move this one down to the B tier. And I guess that maybe that might be more than a touch better because if it was a touch better, it might still be on the A tier. But when I look at that A tier, I see those drinks and I don't think that the Ultimate Freedom Ice was at that caliber, although it is a really good red, white, and blue flavor. But switching things up with a Fruit Punch, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you know I'm not a Fruit Punch fan, but uh, C4 Ultimate made a believer out of me, so it is not going there, it's not going there. Uh, you might think that it would go here being a Fruit Punch, 
but it is an amazing fruit punch. Uh, it's probably only the one of the only fruit punches I would ever really consider drinking if it didn't have 300 milligrams. I usually don't drink the 300 milligram energy drinks, but uh, for flavor, it is a really great fruit punch flavor. Next up, we got uh, the WWE collab that they did, and this one is the Ruthless Raspberry. And you know what? I, I don't think I've ever had just a raspberry energy drink. Usually everything that I have is like a blue ras. And uh, when it came to just raspberry, uh, I actually actually thought that it was an okay drink. Uh, so I put that in the C category because it was, uh, I think I was expecting more. I think I was expecting more of a blue raspberry, but then they had the power berry, which was more of a mixed berry flavor. And there was just something about the raspberry that didn't really overly excite me that much, especially with the hype of it being a WWE flavor. But then that brings us to the Power Bomb, which I did actually like a bit better than that. So we're actually going to put the Power Bomb in the B tier because they did a good job with that. The same thing goes for the Arctic Snow Cone. I actually think that the Arctic Snow Cone was very, very similar to the regular Arctic Snow Cone. They really match the flavor very, very well. So we're going to put that in the B category as well. And then the last one for the ultimate is actually the orange cream, which is an orange creamsicle flavor. And uh, creamsicles have been becoming really, really popular lately. And they actually did a really great job with it. So I am actually going to put that up in the A tier as well. And oh, let's make sure I'm putting these in the right order. Uh, let's see. Sour Batch I put there. Uh, I, I like the Bomb Pop more than the Sour Patch. Uh, but you know what? That orange cream is pretty good. You know, I'm actually going to say that I like those ultimates. Both of those ultimates, flavor-wise, uh, better than the Frozen Bombsicle. So we're going to move those up a bit. And, uh, and, and like I said, that, that surprises me because the Bob and Pop was really good, really good. But that's how good the Fruit Punch and the orange cream is. And now that brings us to the Smart Energies. So uh, the first one up is going to be the Blue Raspberry Smart Energy. And uh, this was really good. And what's interesting about this, if you didn't watch my videos, uh, then you don't know. But if you did, you do know. But the Blue Raspberry C4 Smart Energy, when it was in the 16-ounce can, was a little bit of a different formula. And it was my number one Blue Raspberry flavor for, for a long time. And I'm not talking just the Smart Energy. I'm just talking like out of all of the Blue Raspberry flavors, it was my favorite. It. Then they tweaked the formula, they put it into the 12 ounce can, and it stopped becoming my number one flavor because it did it did change the flavor a little bit. Uh, all the flavors changed a little bit because uh, they took out the malic acid and uh, that gave it kind of a, a different flavor, gave it a little tartness, a little sour on the back end. And with the changing of the ingredients, the reformulation, a lot of the flavors actually changed. So uh, this is still a really good flavor though, but uh, I am actually going to put that in the B tier because it did change a bunch. What also changed was the cherry berry lime, which actually used to be their uh, freedom ice flavor. So, you know, they got the frozen bombsicle, they got the freedom ice in the ultimate, and then they also had the freedom ice in the smart energy. They changed this one to cherry berry lime and gave it a touch more lime flavor. Even though they took out the malic acid and it did change, I actually like this better than the original C4 uh, smart energy freedom ice. So this is actually gonna be going up all the way up it's not going to that b tier it's going to the a tier and it's really really good and you know what i'd have to say since we're putting these in order um i like it that is right where it is i was going to put next to the bombsicle but then i was like oh no don't be crazy i drink this i drink this cherry berry lime a decent amount of the time compared i don't drink the other ones but the other ones i know are really good flavors that's going to bring us to the tropical passion fruit smart energy and uh when they reformulated the drinks they came out with some new flavors for the smart energy too so they came out with the tropical passion fruit the strawberry guava the blood orange yuzu and all of these new flavors i thought they were good flavors but uh, I thought they might have been lacking something just a little bit. So when I put these in the category, they're not going down there. There's only those guys right there for now. But uh, I put them in the C category because I just wasn't that excited about them. I think they could have done a little more with the tropical. There was something a little bit not passion fruity enough about it. And it really seemed like they were trying to go more the way, trying to compete with like a Celsius kind of drink. And I think that they did accomplish that because I actually like this drink better than I do like the Celsius. I think the Celsius tends to be a little bit too sparkling water flavor for me, a little bit too natural. And most of the C4 energy flavors, I'm used to being a little bit more potent and strong. So 
to go a little bit lighter to be a little bit more competitive with Celsius. I think they did a good job in being competitive with Celsius and the fact that it is actually a smart energy. I like it a lot better than Celsius. Love my nootropics. But I don't love it as much as a lot of those other flavors. So when we take a look at the next one, the strawberry guava, I feel the same way. I don't think that uh, there was enough strawberry or guava in there. I don't think it was strong enough for me. So I am going to put that in the C category because I just like the strong, potent, powerful flavors. That brings us to, actually that's not the blood. We're going to the, the peach mango. And this one was also reformulated. Like I said, they reformulated the, all the original flavors. And the Smart Energy peach mango did really, really good on the caffeine man rating chart. But when they reformulated it, they did an amazing job. Yes, I absolutely love what they did when they reformulated this one. And that one goes all the way up to the tippity tippity top. And I mean all the way up. I'm all the way up. True. All the way up there. And it's and I and when I, I mean all the way up, it is above the Starburst Cherry. And that's a tough call because uh both of those flavors are amazing. And the only way that it breaks the tie between which one is the better one is the one that I'm gonna drink more often. And the C4 Smart Energy is an amazing nootropic energy drink. So if you're looking for a good nootropic energy drink, C4 Smart Energy has some great nootropic energy drinks. And the peach mango is my top peach mango out of all the peach mangoes. So they did a great job with that. Leaving just one left here, which is the blood orange yuzu. And I did actually like that better than the other, the tropical passion fruit and the strawberry guava. I thought it was a really good flavor. So that is going into the B tier. So if I were to recommend any drinks to you, I would recommend those S tiers. I would never be sorry if someone said, hey, I got the Skittles and I didn't like it very much. And I say, well, I'm so sorry, but listen, Everyone in my comments, almost everybody, like tons of people love that flavor. Tons of people like the Starburst Cherry. Tons of people like the Peach Mango. And no word of a lie, when I go to the store, like I said, I've been seeing a lot more C4 in stores lately. Those three are always there. But I'd also recommend anything in the A and B category. All of those are great drinks. And even for the people that like grape, try that grape from the sea. If you're into just raspberry, I think that the Ruthless Raspberry did a good job with just raspberry. But just look at that list. All of those S, A's, and B's give you a ton of choices. So they're going to have something for everybody and if you can't find them in stores or you do try one of these flavors and it becomes your favorite flavor and you want to purchase them by the case you can save at least 20 percent off when you use coupon code caffeine man at the c4 energy and cellular core website i am sponsored by c4 but that doesn't change how i feel about these drinks people like always oh, sponsored he's gonna say great stuff about all the drinks they're all gonna be s tier and a tier but but as you can see i give unbiased reviews and not everything is absolutely amazing there are some that are lower but one of the reasons why i approached c4 about sponsorship was because they do have a lot of great energy drinks i'm not gonna promote and get sponsored by a company that i don't even like their drinks so yeah a lot of them are great there are a few misses for me but like i said those misses for me you can still find them in stores because other people think they're great let me know in the comments down below what tier list you guys want to see next and be sure to check out caffeineman1.com if you want to find out a little bit more about me you can also find my affiliate links to help you save money on energy drinks and you can even sign up for a newsletter going over what i went over last week and what will be coming up this week all at caffeineman1.com if you'd like to see a playlist of all my c4 energy drink reviews you can check out that playlist right there and if you want to know about all those delicious starburst flavors you can check out that review right there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time have yourselves a great day or night